Boing. Welcome back to Warshade Plays Wildstar. Alright, gotta check out... I've unlocked a few new abilities, but I'm just not finding any new abilities I want to replace my old ones with. I probably should. I bet there's amazing abilities in there, but let's just spend our amp point and uh, go from there. Alright, so we have a, a prison camp to scout and a uh, transmitter, satellite transmitter to hack. And that's where we'll head right now. Let's see. There's that elite. Uh, heard we have a quest to kill. Three-man quest. It's like, eh. They really need to... I hope when it goes free-to-play they change all that. I was just making sure those eggs aren't something I actually need for a quest. They literally are just there for no reason. Well, they're there as part of that thing. I think they heal you or something when you pick them up. Um, so yeah, here's the prison camp. And we have to locate the scout hidden in the prison camp, as well as uh, destroy the transmitter. So we're going to take the stealth route, pretty much avoiding any contact with the prison as much as possible, like Solid Snake would do, sneak around the outside. I, I pretty much think of everything I do in stealth as, uh, what would Solid Snake do in this instance? And not the new Solid Snake, or rather, <clears throat> not the snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 or any of those games, just Solid Snake himself. Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, or whatever. The, the, where you play as him for like 10 minutes. It's one of my favorite games of all time. <clears throat> and that's saying something, because military shooters are not really my, my, my bag. Hey, there we go. No general war runner, the ICA issues me. Prison camp's absolutely secure. Interrogation will continue. I'll wait for your words. I want results. Strike Make them bleed. The there is truth in blood. Make whatever arrangements are you need. Warbringer out. So yeah. The rumors are true. Who knows what other dark deeds the ICI has perpetrated. We cannot allow this to continue. We must do something to stop these atrocities. So basically, they're capturing and torturing people. And we are going to put a stop to it. But not here. Here we're just gonna walk away. Because for some reason they're like, Oh, you don't have a quest to come over here right now. And that's fine. Because for some reason they give us these quests a little bit out of order. But whatever. We'll come back here sometime. Maybe. Maybe free some people. Maybe help some people out. Who knows? Right now, we're on to the next one. So, we have to... Scout a fuel depot and hack a transmitter satellite there. And it's pretty far away, so we got a little bit of a long drive ahead of us. I don't know if there's an MMO that actually has, like, real cars you drive around in, like, a real city and stuff. Like, I know uh, GTA has an online mode. I guess it's sort of like a uh, crime simulator MMO. I'm just wondering when you're going to get like an actual MMO that's like, basically it's life and you choose what you want to do. Just got a call from one of my men near Noxbane prison camp. He was trying to rescue his wife and the rock head put himself... Alright. That is the quest we should have gotten. And we were over there to actually rescue people from the camp where we were. I wanted to see where this trail sort of takes me and now I'm back in Algarok. Which, uh, I noticed coming here that I, there's a quest over here, an explorer's quest that I did not complete. Turns out it's a scavenger hunt. So... The relic said to have been buried along the tree stumps near the grim lumber mill. So we're looking for a relic hidden near our tree stumps. Oh, there we go. It's around here somewhere. Where do I dig? Right on top of these dudes. That's nice. Oh, dudes. Hey, now we can dig. Woo! Look at that level up. Explorer's safe fall's been upgraded. Now it does 40%. 
less. Uh, it reduces my damage by 45% now when I fall from something. So if something would have killed me normally, it'd only take most of my, or rather 65% of my health away. Or if, what, 50, 55% of my health away. Yeah, 55. Instead of all of my health, which is great. It means I can jump off stuff without fear of death, which is pretty darn awesome. Reminds me of uh, Rogue's safe fall in World of Warcraft. Alright, now I want to find out what's up here. Hey, check it out. A burrow. Alright, we are in a place called Bristle... Bristlebane Burrow. I'm not sure what's in here. It did have an explorer's marker on it, so... I don't know if those mean, like, these are special things for explorers, so only explorers can come into them. Or if... They're just pointless, because... Well, I don't know. <clears throat> Seems like there's two ways out of here. I was way up in the top of the zone a second ago. Sorry, so where am I now? Alright, now I'm back down in the middle of uh, the Crimson Base operations. So I was way up there where I had explored the highest point, and now I'm way down here. Let's see uh, where that other burrow exit takes us. Maybe it takes us like halfway across the zone. You never know with these things, but I certainly don't feel like I walked that far down south to be so far away, so I don't know where this one takes me. Hey, green grass. Maybe I'm further away. Uh, not so much. A little bit further south. It's it's a quick... It's like a cool, quick way to get back to here. To this little base. Which is cool. You can kind of cross the top now? half of the zone. I don't have any money. That's why I gotta sell all my stuff to you. Because I'm broke. I'm broke little Lombax. and stuff. I keep running out of inventory space now because I just have so much junk and most of it's like for your housing area, for your this. I really should go set up my housing area and like get rid of all this garbage that I have in here for it. I mean for all I know I have some really cool stuff and I could go create like a, a pretty cool looking place but I don't want to do that right now. I want to quest and my inventory space is so ridiculously limited and I'm just like, oh, it's building up on me. And it's like, okay, well, that's nice that you're going to give us so much housing stuff, which wasn't in the game before, so I wouldn't have had all this, this problem with inventory before they added housing. But now that I have it, I'm just like, I can't get enough inventory space. All right, back up to the top of the zone where we were. All right, let's do this. Now we're actually going to um, finish questing to the top of the zone and see what's there, because I don't know. All right, here we are, way back up there. It looks like there's like a drone you can click on right there. Collect. Alright, so I'm collecting that drone right now. And it put me back in here somehow. So, yeah. I don't want to be here. Back out. I'm just not going to collect that drone. Maybe it's a quest. Maybe it's not. I don't know. <sighs> Alright, well. Either way, there's definitely two things there on the ground to click on. And I'm going to try to click on it. Alright, here's another one. Yep. Drone. Oh, it's a challenge. <clears throat> Collect the cores from broken maintenance constructs around the evacuation site. So, there's more than one of these things around, and we gotta collect as many as possible. What's on your mind? Why are you oh, so far away from everyone? Did you notice the wildlife in this area has been augmented? I'm researching the augmentation process, so I could really use some good tissue samples. Alright, like well, we can go around friend. searching for tissue samples by, you know, killing them and taking the tissue sample. It's like, no, you can't go, like, nicely collect fur, trap them, set them free, maybe mark which ones you've already collected a sample from, and some... Like, you know, that's what we do now. But this is... This is a new planet, and we're the hostile invader, and they're all inferior beings. So they don't have the right to... Whatever rights they had before we got here. Which was the right to wander around, augmented... 
as an abomination to nature. <laughs> Yay! Very silly. Nah, it's a video game, who cares? Whee! Jump jump. Alright, so we got seven out of nine. One more and we can get silver or gold level. Oh, that's cool. What's down there? Oh, okay, it's that place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I started skiing down there. That was where we destroyed that giant devastator before. Whew. Almost fell down there. Alright, so there's, there's a drone. Alright, cool. Once we collect this drone, I'm going to talk to those guys and see what's up. Gold level awarded. Yay! Gold. I could use that. No, that better. Alright, yeah, we'll get this thing. Hello! Oh, hey, cool. Hey, stranger. Mind helping me locate some Elden Relics? Augmented critter. Looking for a place to bury one. Not those relic fragments are gonna fly off on their own, right? <laughs> Have you checked one of those rocky crevices? It's as likely a place as any. Hey, is it me or is there something funny about those large flowers? I'm pretty sure I saw one of the evacuators walk off with one. Excavators. Evacuators. Excavators. <laughs> New glasses. Yeah. Alright. Hey, there's a the scavenger hunt. Cool. I like the scavenger hunts. I think they're a great idea. I just don't think they were implemented that well. You just you don't feel like you've done anything when you've done them. Like you go around searching for all these clues, and then when you finish it, sure you get XP. But it's not even like real XP. You get XP for your secondary class, which is exploration. Which is fine, but it just doesn't feel like anything happens. Like at least they should pop up something, you know, or they should like go back and turn it in and get some sort of monetary reward, I don't know, anything to just make it feel like you've, you've done something. <laughs> you don't really fit that feeling, you know? Alright, jump! Hey, Data Cube. I have witnessed a number of disturbing behaviors in certain individuals, and a growing schism between the orders as the project continues. Although this was not completely unforeseen, I do have concerns about the unexpected variables and their consequences. Watch out! Yeah. Oh, big purple uh, ground area there was covered with whatever he was doing. I don't even know. Collect fragmented carmine tissue, and then collect the tissue from the uh, shredders here. Saddle. Little swarm buzz bings. Yeah. Cool. Woo. There's a buzz bing. I like that they just made up their own names. The buzz bing. That's cool. It reminds me of uh, the names of creatures in Legend of Zelda. They really should. Um, do something in Zelda when you have the lock on feature where the name of the creature sort of appear somewhere that you've targeted. I know it would make it feel less like... I don't know, in some way you'd feel less like your immersion in the game because of it. But it would really help people to remember the names of the villains. I don't know. That's just me. I like to know the names of things I'm killing. So that way when you're talking to your friends about what game you're playing, you say, oh yeah, no, I was killing, I was killing Goombas by jumping on their heads. What the heck is a Goomba? When I was a little kid, this is a funny story, so, I was around four years old, and, uh, I was staying at a friend's house, and he had the original Mario Brothers for, and regular Nintendo, it was the first time I ever played it, and I was like, this is really cool, this is amazing, and he was a couple years older than I, and he referred to all Goombas as buttheads. Well, I didn't even know what a butthead was, I was a four-year-old little boy, so I thought that was what they were called. So, I started calling Goombas Buttheads. I did that for a little while until my mother heard me refer to Goombas as Buttheads and I proceeded to get in trouble and be punished and 
told, no, that's not the name of something, that's a bad word, don't say it, don't call people that, you know, where'd you learn that, and, you know, get all upset. You know, I'm four, I don't understand what's going on, and I don't understand why I'm being punished, I don't understand anything. There you go. Goombas, buttheads. Weird story. Hey, Buzzbings! Nor butt bings, right? <laughs> hey, there's a quest over here. Well, howdy, little lady. What you doing in these parts? Can't do this by myself, friend. I've been trying to figure out how to reactivate the Elden circuitry. Some of the switches and breakers look familiar. I want to try and get it working. Okay. So, turn this thing. Because she couldn't have done that. I don't know. And then follow the green lighted areas until you find the next thing. Oh, it's a challenge? Eliminate Dominion troops in this. See, this is one of those instances where, like, I'm like, I don't even want to... Like, I'm trying to do something completely different. I don't really care about the challenge. There's times when I'm like, oh, hey, I'm not doing anything special. Challenge, great, cool. And there's times when I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what this is. This seems really cool. I'm interrupted by a challenge. And it's, like, a little bit ADHD for me, because I'm a focused person. But whatever. We'll do it anyway. All we gotta do now is go back and talk to her. And she'll be like, You did it. Good job. Here's a nothing. Your reward is my gratitude. Our reward is that justice has been done. If you haven't seen the movie The Three Amigos with uh, Chevy Chase and Steve Martin, highly recommend watching it. I do know the name of the third amigo, the actor who plays him. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you. He plays Ned Needlender, and as a kid, he was always my favorite, favorite amigo. I don't know why. I guess because he feels like the like child in the group, like the younger of the other amigos. So <laughs> it's like, as a kid, you sort of gravitate towards the younger characters. As you like the when you're watching it, you picture that would be you kind of deal. I don't know. I probably got way too into that stuff as a kid. I was watching a movie. I always associated myself with the character and like saw everything happen from that character's point of view. And if they died or whatever, I felt really sad. Probably why I became a writer. I don't know. Dominion troops in the central or the control site focus on focus of air. They mention air a lot in this zone. I'm not sure what that means. Focus of air. Okay, it's there. So get used to it. Whole lot of kill quests in this zone. Very little platforming so far. I'm hoping that this is like uh, because of this zone's theme it is a war that's going on. Like there's a huge war going on in this theme. Really, in this zone, you really feel it. Like you are at war with the minions. They're attacking your city. You have to protect them. You're doing everything you can. They're right outside the gates, so you're out there putting a stop to them. Like there's people on the front lines fighting, and you're like a special forces going out there and sabotaging and going behind enemy lines and all that. That's kind of cool, you know? It's like, you know, special forces in space. But I don't have to shoot anything, which is great. You really gave those candid licking. Yay! Alright, I think I still have another buzz being to kill. Yeah, I do. Oh, Buzzbings. This might be the last one, though. Set. Well, one of my favorite TV shows is Futurama, and uh, this game kind of feels a little bit like that, too. That, that world. Silly space world. Highly recommend, uh, if you get into it, check out Futurama. Can watch the whole series on Netflix, all nine seasons or so, or whatever. Each season gets progressively different than the last. 
Yay! Let's hey, how's it going? These samples are great. You've done this sort of thing before. You You're a real pro. Oh, too. thanks. Ah, I love it. If you could lend me a hand with another tissue analysis in my dad's camp, I can show you I around too. It'll be fun. Ooh, I think it's a date. No one can resist the sprocket charm in my pirate hat. I really like the pirate hat, actually. Might have to use it in my next book. Like, a similar design. But with more ornate symbols and such. Cause that's how I roll. Oh, we are nowhere near completing this scavenger hunt. I don't know what to do next. Do I scavenger hunt or do I? Uh, it's so hard. It's a hard choice. All right, I'm gonna go up to scavenger hunt. I think. Cause I'm not gonna probably ever come back to this area, like way up here in the north. So I should probably scavenger hunt while I'm over here. Challenge wow. All right, let's see which ones. Okay, there's one right, right there. To the south. All right, we'll head over to that one first. We're already so close to it. Uh, there aren't those things, man. I love them and I hate them. They're like, hey, we're happening. We're going on in the middle of you doing other stuff. There it is, right there. All right, it's like right on top of that thing. Jump! Oh crap! Ah, oh, god, no! I totally almost fell. Uh, there we go. I do not want to fall back into Algarok. Getting back here would be a pain in the <laughs> Do not want to do it. Alright, we're... Oh, there's one, like, super close to me to the south now. I want to go north! I'm trying to go north! Stop it! Alright, it's, it's, like, right here. It's, like, right here. Alright. It looks as though an augmented orbiter is looking for a place to bury an Elden Relic Fragment. I think that's what it says. It can be hard to read the text sometimes. It's my own fault. Alright, so close. So close. So close. So close. So close. So close. Where is it? Where is it? It's like right here. Unless, like, that means that they didn't bury it. Like, I would assume it's buried somewhere near all these augmented guys, because they said someone's looking to bury it. So it's like, okay, so we saw them run off with it, and they're, they're going to bury it. So one of these guys buried it. But maybe it means i got to kill them? I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. They're not, like, exact. The information's not always, like, exact. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe this is not something where I actually get a dig thing. Oh, alright, he jumped in the ground. Maybe he just buried it right there. Maybe it's buried right there where that guy just jumped into the ground. Should we try killing him? Or keep trying to waste our time finding a place to dig? Yeah. Alright, well. That's just a little annoying. Might as well just try killing something. Let's see what happens. Die, Augment Scum! Hey, that worked. Three out of five pieces found. So we got two more to find. They're way up to the north. To the north! And not the north from Game of Thrones. Because Westeros is a terrible place. I don't, I don't ever want to go there. It's hard to say what fictional world writers create that you'd want to like actually live in when given the chance. Because... <laughs> the evil they created. Like, maybe you want to live there after that evil's been destroyed? But if you read their sequels, there's always more evil coming. Makes you wonder what evil is there in our world, hidden around us? What horrible things are we ignoring each day? Hey, that's cool. It's like right here. Okay. Vroom. Oh, hey. I got it. There's giant weird flowers over here. It says it's buried around the flowers. Oh. I'm getting a meter. Where are you? Oh, so close. So close. Come on. Come on. I'm not finding that, like, 
place where it turns into a like green dig here thing. I'm just gonna dig. Close enough. Hey, it worked. Uh, consistency. Alright, hey, there was one back over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow, cool. That one's easy. I wonder what this is. Yeah! It gave me like three bars of XP. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Warshade Plays Wildstar. Uh, tune in next time for some more fun. What? Have you found you somehow?